Texas. This cold winter storm is picking up steam as it continues to barrel across Southern California. It has prompted severe weather warnings not often seen in this area. The blizzard warning on record is now in effect, bringing dangerous conditions to our local mountains and a flash flood warning is also in effect as the relentless storm persists. We have live team coverage from the grapevine to the San Fernando Valley to the Cajon Pass. But first, we begin with Kai Goldberg. He's in tonight for Vera in our studio with what else we can expect. Hi, Kai. Hello, Court. Hello, Cher. Wow, take a look. We have seen tremendously dangerous conditions here in Southern California over the last 24 hours. And look at the wind just howling through the Orange County coastline. This is Huntington Beach. And you can see we're looking at a lot of these palm trees. They are bending back and forth with gusts of up to 40, 45 miles per hour. Stronger wind gusts as we head up into many of our mountain communities. Gusts of up to 60, 65, and 75 miles per hour. And here's a look at the 5 Live Max Doppler. We continue to see the moisture, the energy coming into Southern California from the south and southwesterly direction. Look at the foothills picking up heavy rainfall at this hour. And we're continuing to see moderate to at times heavy rainfall as we take a look along the Santa Monica mountain range, especially through Topanga Canyon into to, uh, the Calabasas Woodland Hills area. We'll go a little bit north and northern San Fernando Valley into Santa Clarita. What making our way just a little to the east as we head out of downtown Los Angeles into the Glendale area, Eagle Rock, portions of Pasadena as we make our way even further east out towards the Riverside community. We can see later along the 215 and the 74 through Paris as well as Hemet. Once again, heavy rainfall throughout the foothills as we climb up the Angeles Crest Highway all the way up into Wrightwood. Look at Crestline on the rest left hand side of your screen, Running Springs as well as Big Bear. And we've got a flash flood warning that's taking place through Los Angeles, Ventura, Santa Barbara County. Again, primarily the foothill communities and many of the valleys are we're looking at up to an inch of rain per hour, which is causing the possibility of flash flooding. And of course, we've got blizzard warnings up in our mountains through the rest of the night into much of Saturday. And speaking of Saturday, it's going to be another dangerous day tomorrow. I'll be back. We'll talk about that and much more in just a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Kai, thank you so much. The wicked weather has continued to pound much of Southern California, and the grapevine is no different. KTLA Sandra Mitchell is live in Lebec with the latest on what drivers can expect if they're traveling through that stretch of the five. Sandra. Sharon Court, I can tell you right now, it is absolutely howling. The wind is uh, howling. The rain is coming down and it is cold here. But there is some good news from the CHP. Just a few moments ago, I got an update from them. They are actually reopening the five freeway through the grapevine with CHP escorts. What does that mean? Trucks and drivers, cars will be able to get through with an escort. Well, that is a pace car that will be taking the drivers through very slowly. And certainly that is good news for all the people people who are stranded here in Lebec at this truck stop. With snow and rain coming down and a wide open freeway engulfed by fog, we took the KTLA 5 news van north of LA into the grapevine. Right now the uh, grapevine is still closed due to the snow, ice on the roadway. So uh, Caltrans is trying to get things plowed up, trying to make it safe again so we can open it up. And we found people stranded at a truck stop with the five freeway closed in both directions since last night. They have no choice but to stay put in Lebec. I wanted to leave about 1 a.m. So I got up about 1 and it started snowing and they had just closed I-5. Despite an army of Caltrans snow plows and salt trucks, the CHP shut down the freeway from Lebec to Castaic. Truck drivers bumper to bumper on the side of the road, traffic stacked up and forced to turn around. Some people are surprised. Uh, some people are frustrated, rightfully so. Uh, more people are frustrated the the people who actually live in the community in Castaic. But we just try to advise them we're doing the best we can. The CHP is advising drivers to avoid the five freeway north of LA at least until tomorrow night. The alternate route is the 101, but that won't help the Weaslers visiting from Germany and planning a weekend road trip from the Bay Area to San Diego. It's a little disappointing, of course, but um, yeah, on the other hand, we should have known it maybe that there is a winter <laughs> storm coming and um, yeah. It's a little unfortunate. 
Again, the CHP just notified me a few moments ago, the 5 Freeway, the Grapevine, is reopening north and southbound with CHP escorts only. The best advice, really, just avoid the area because with the rain coming down and the temperatures dropping, it could ice up and they could reclose it again at any time. For Live Tonight in Lebec, I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News, Sharon Court. Back to you, Sandra. Thank you. And the winter storm surge is causing flooding and mudslides in L.A. County. Streets are swamped in Studio City and emergency warnings have been announced for the area. KTLA 5's Chris Wolf joins us live in Studio City where more than a few drivers are braving the flooded roads. Hi, Chris. Absolutely. Us included court and share. The wind is really picking up right now as well as the rain. Apparently, we're seeing the worst of the storm this weekend. Public safety and emergency personnel say if you don't need to leave your house, then don't stay put, stay safe. Roads are frozen or flooded. The ground is saturated. As you can see, we have some significant street flooding here in Studio City tonight. One man says he was trying to get into his car today, but the water was up to his shins. Streets in Studio City have become lakes with this latest round of severe winter weather walloping California. Meteorologists say as the storm hones in on the southern part of the state, it is intensifying. If not snow, the forecast calls for several inches of rain in many communities. More clear evidence, the LA River is swollen and racing through the San Fernando Valley. While this news crew was covering conditions in the valley, our phones erupted with an emergency alert from the National Weather Service. A flash flood warning is in effect for this area until 10 p.m. This is a dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing to safety. People can expect road closures, washouts, and debris flows. Mud was flowing early Friday in Woodland Hills. A hillside was disintegrating under heavy rain, sending mud down into Imi Chelevold's home. Uh, some of it came to our house. Uh, fortunately, uh, we've had some neighbors who helped shovel mud. Well, the slope is eroding, and if that slope fails, that road will be unpassable. So that will trap all this houses in the neighborhood. The ground below the pavement up here is saturated and the, the street is heavily compromised. So a neighbor who's doing work had an engineer. He was just out here walking down on the slope, took photos, and he saw the, the area where the erosion that she could see was taking place about six feet below the street level. Such a difficult situation for so many people. Some motorists became trapped in floodwaters today. We're going to have much more coming up in the next hour. Reporting live in Studio City, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. All right, Chris, stay safe out there. Thank you. And dangerous driving conditions in the Cajon Pass. Some areas are seeing wiped out conditions with near zero visibility. We've already seen several crashes because of those slick Roads. The CHP urging drivers to please take it slow. KTLA 5's Rachel Menatop is there live with a look at the conditions now. Still cold out though, Rachel. Court and share. it is very cold out here. We're getting a ton of rain, some hail, and some very heavy winds. It's technically in the 30s, but it feels like the 20s because of the wind chill. You can see here behind us traffic on the 15 near the Cajon Pass. There's a lot of it, but it is moving smoothly. And the CHP is warning people to avoid the mountain areas where they're bracing for a blizzard. Drivers should be aware of potentially dangerous conditions along the Cajon Pass. Heavy snow and powerful winds resulted in whiteout conditions overnight and leaves behind slippery roads during the day. This storm has lowered visibility in the mountains to near zero, and it can be hard to see much in front of you if you're on the roads. You kind of see, just see like what's, what's, what's ahead of you. Like if you look to the side, there's, you can't really see much. And it looks like it's bumper to bumper traffic right now. Oh yeah, definitely. 
The 15 freeway remains open in both directions. Oscar Valenzuela is on his way home to Victorville and got stuck in the gridlock traffic, but he says he's actually been waiting for this moment. We just moved out here going on a year and it's an uh, experience for us. We like it. We've been looking forward to this. A lot of people don't like this kind of weather, but now we don't have to go to Big Bear. We have the snow here. Caltrans snow plows are working the freeway, laying down sand and keeping lanes clear. In some cases, drivers lost control and had to wait for help on the shoulder. State Route 18 closed for some time in both directions from Cuffle Canyon to Sky Park because of downed power lines. You can see just how treacherous the weather is on the mountain. No easy feat for the crews repairing them. Forecasters are predicting one to two feet of snow in the San Bernardino County Mountains where a blizzard warning is in effect. The National Weather service says it's the first time it's issued this kind of alert since 1989. People like Heather Bissett in Rancho Cucamonga says she's stocking up on groceries, bracing for more rain and chilly temperatures. It's more than we expect here in Southern California, but I grew up here, so every I feel like every 10, 15 years we get these really cold, bad storms. We also ran into our very own Megan Tellis's aunt, Armida Slane, who says she welcomes the additional water in our area and is just mindful while on the road. Wouldn't want to be on the freeway or going anywhere I'm not familiar with. That's the only thing that would bother me. And at some of the higher elevations on the snow tops over here, we are seeing snow, but at this lower elevation where we are, we're just getting a lot of rain right now. And once again, the 15 freeway, it is open. It's moving smoothly right now, but drivers are warned to take it slow. That's the very latest from the Inland Empire. I'm Rachel Benatoff. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Try to stay warm, Rachel, thank you. And remember, you can track our local storms in real time with our interactive radar. See what's coming your way. Get rain totals, the forecast, much more. All you got to do is head to KTLA.com and download our KTLA weather app. Of course, Big Bear is no stranger to heavy snow, but it has been decades since the area has been hit with the serious combination of snow, strong winds, and freezing temperatures. KTLA's Shelby Nelson joins us live from Big Bear with a look at conditions there now. Hi, Shelby. Hi, ladies. Yeah, what a day it has been. You can see how much snowfall we are getting. It's been like this throughout the day. And again, we are going to be experiencing some gusty winds later on tonight with that blizzard warning. But take a look at where we are. So I've been showing you this kind of throughout the days that we've been here. But this is just how much snow has fallen. You can get an idea. I'm about a foot in <laughs> and there's much more to go and we're going to be getting a lot more snow later on through the evening. But take a look at some of the video we have from earlier today. Uh, we caught up with some families at the Alpine Slide for a moment. Yeah. They were perfect conditions, fresh snow and a chance to have some fun. We went tubing down the hill. So much fun. That was my first time actually and one family was nice enough to help me out in learning the ropes but take a look at that at a point it looks like we were just in this white abyss because of how much snow is out here the park was open today but it's not all fun thanks to the storm operations manager tells me that they had to close the alpine slide early and they also had to close it yesterday because of how much snow they got today we'll be closing at four o'clock Usually it would be open from 5 till 9. Back in 2010 was probably the last good snowstorm that I remember like that. And then being a kid, like I said, back in the day, it was Monday we started snowing, Thursday it stopped, and away we went. So it's been years, though, since you've seen it like this? Definitely a long time since we've seen snow like this. And again, this snow is already causing damage. We saw at least one street sign knocked down and also a warmer in front of a restaurant also knocked down. And almost everywhere you go near the village, public works crews are clearing out the snow along streets and sidewalks. So far, Big Bear City was hit with two feet of snow and in higher elevations at Snow Summit, that area receiving almost four feet with much more to come. Now with this next round of the storm and that blizzard warning, we are extending winds up here or we are expecting winds up here traveling up to 40 to 50 miles an hour. We've also seen road closures, including Highway 330 in both directions from Highland Avenue to State Route 18. And then the 18 is closed from Arrowhead Highland Summit to Big Bear 
uh, dam. So back out here live again, lots of snow. We don't see much wind yet or we're not filling it just yet, but that is going to get worse probably later on tonight. Again, chain control is in effect. If anyone is coming up through certain roads that are open, people even with four wheel drive will need to have chains as well. Reporting live in Big Bear, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you. Good to know.